Thanks for joining me today at the Busy Butterfly. So just to recap what we did, we created um, three sashes with a easy template of just using a four by 45 inch cut of fabric and using whatever crafts that I had on hand, whatever you have on hand. Just decorate it, your um, creativity possibilities are endless. So get the kids around the table and have fun decorating. Welcome back to the Busy Butterfly. So today, the um, materials that we're gonna be using are gonna be listed in the description box below with the links to where I got them. And where I got them was from Joann's. Most of the items here are from my favorite store. So, um, we're also going to be using two methods today. The first method is the sewing machine. I'll be using my Husqvarna. The other method is the glue gun. If you do not have a sewing machine at home, you can use a hot glue gun. So let's get started. The supplies that we're going to be using are a the Husqvarna sewing machine, a hot glue gun, Fiskars easy scissors, a jar of buttons, some embroidery thread, embroidery needles, pins to hold the pattern in place, a pattern printout from the internet, some pom-poms, some rickrack ribbon, 9 by 12 felt sheets, and felt by the yard. A bucket that has some scraps from some previous projects to use for today. So we're gonna start with the felt by the yard. And I forgot to mention, a ruler or measuring tape. What you have at home will be fine. Open up your fabric, and we're going to be needing four by 45. This sash will fit a child about age four to ten. Um, you could add more length. So if you have a 12-year-old or a teenager, you would want to add a few more inches. So it would be four inches by 50 inches, okay? That was an example. So I'm going to cut four inches here. rotary cutter so I'm going to be using my rotary cutter if you do not have a rotary cutter that's okay you could just mark it with a pen and use some scissors to cut I have it folded in half, so I'm going to actually only cut it 22 and a half inches. And that will give me 45 inches. Scraps for later. I'm now going to cut my pattern in the diagonal on the edge. Okay. So we're going to start working with the first method, that's if you have a sewing machine at home. So you have your sash, which is 4 inches by 45 inches long. We're going to fold it in half. Now remember, we did a diagonal cut on one end, not on the folded end. You're going to put those two together, put it under your sewing machine. Now I have a automatic draw, so you're going to want to drop your needle, move it a little, do a back stitch, and continue sewing. I'm doing it about a quarter inch, so right now, and then before you get to the end, do another back stitch, cut your thread, and you have it sewed together. So the next thing we're gonna do is, just turn it around, use your hand to create a nice little press, 
and you have a sash. So let's get to the fun part and decorate. Okay, so before we get to decorating, let's go over method number two. In case you do not have a sewing machine at home, we're gonna use a hot glue gun. If you are a student learning or trying to do this YouTube video on your own, you might wanna check with your parent and make sure that while using the hot glue gun, that you are being safe. So what we're gonna do is, it was folded together like this. You want to create, here's the top and the bottom, and create a little square, okay? And in that square, you're gonna lay it back down, you're gonna lift it up just a little bit, and you're going to hot glue gun around like this. today I'm just gonna go over a little bit what I used I went on to Pinterest and found these adorable um, snowflakes because it's snowing here and my daughter needs to have a winter wonderland frozen sash today so I printed these off and I cut it out and created using the 9 by 12 felt that I had on hand I had white I had light pink and then I went through my stack, my, it's like a little scrap bin, and then you just pick out more colors to create more decorations. I'm also going to be using these adorable pom-poms, felt pom-poms. I'm going to add some little decorative stitch using these embroidery floss threads. And I'll be using Rick Rack ribbon. And last but not least, I'm going to be using some buttons to decorate. You could choose to decorate your sash any way you want with whatever you have at home. You can even use markers if you do not have these items at home. When you're using a hot glue gun, you get, they remind me of little spider webs from the glue. You just grab those, with that. Also, um, before you finish your sash, you see this little tail end? I would just clip that down. Try not to cut that thread. And depending on what your hearts desire, you have a little craft. Now, this craft, is designed for my four-year-old and so and it was just the things that we had on hand but let me show you some other sash that I created this morning also earlier I mentioned you want to cut you want to print out a template off the internet, Pinterest of your favorite things. You could get owls, you could get cupcakes, little trees, a birthday cake, whatever you design, um, whatever you choose. So I chose a little cupcake. I printed it off, I cut it out, put it on top of my felt. Let me show you on like one of these. And I cut it out in my pieces. I attached it. Now, Right here, I used embroidery thread. So you could use your embroidery floss thread needles and your embroidery thread. Here's another um, cute idea you could use. You could take your scissors and cut fringe across your felt. Felt's a great material to work with when you're crafting with kids or crafting for yourself. Because when you cut it, it doesn't fray, so which means it doesn't unravel. So, just a quick, simple, fun activity. You can even just add pom-poms with hot glue. And here are our three sashes made today.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. See you again.